everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a collective Supre haul. So I'm going to be trying every single item that I purchased on in this video. So if you guys would like to know what I picked up, then make sure to keep on watching. Also quickly make sure that you subscribe and thumbs up if you enjoy my content and let's go. So the first item is this basic beige singlet. I would say this is more of a nude beige color. I really like the material. It is not like normal cotton like a t-shirt like I'm wearing now. It's like the more tight nice comfortable feeling it is very comfortable except the logo on the back really scratches my back and it irritates the absolute hell out of my skin and it makes me feel itchy and stuff like that and it kind of does like cling to any lump or bump in your body so if you're a bit self-conscious about that then I'd steer away from stuff like this and I feel like that material is, is very like iconic for doing that so just letting you know so then I got this shirt here which is a vintage wash basic like box t-shirt. I like this because I can wear it with a denim jacket and white jeans and the outfit looks really put together and the t-shirt was only two dollars like I was saying and then I got this one and the one I just showed you in the size medium. Next up is one of my favorite items of the whole entire video. It is like one of those stretchy slinky skirts that look like this. I got it in the same color as another shirt that I'm about to show you. This one only cost me ten dollars I believe and I'm absolutely in love with it. It does flatter your curves this one and and it also just like cinches everything together. It had a wide range of colours but I thought this one would be the most versatile and it is again that material that it's like the stretchy wet look one and also it doesn't have a zipper you kind of just plop it on and I got this one in the size medium as well and it's such a good fit. Next up I just got a basic black t-shirt that has a crisscross design. You might not be able to see the crisscross unless I hold up like that. It doesn't cut down too low and I do like this shirt except I wish I had got it in a smaller size just because it does run quite big as in big looking. It doesn't feel that big on you. It was definitely bigger before I put it in the dry and washing machine. It definitely shrunk a little bit there, but it worked in my favour. I got this one in size 10, but I think I would go down to a size 8. And the sleeves are just kind of like a little bit bigger and they're like kind of puff off. It is not the most flattering shirt and it doesn't make you look skinnier or anything like that. It kind of makes you look a little bit on the bigger side, but I don't know, I kind of still like it. But it just reminds me of like a piratey kind of shirt and it's all black and I got it to wear to like tape and stuff like that because black, dressy and nice. The next shirt I got is kind of similar but completely different in a way and I wore this one on my birthday with white jeans and I feel like it looked pretty good. So this is what it looks like, it has that crisscross design like the one I just shown you except this one kind of you can adjust it. And it is in this very pretty burgundy colour and I actually really like this one and it also has like the little scrunchy bit at the sleeves and also at the bottom there. And this one again doesn't make you look super skinny, it just kind of is a shirt. <laughs> Next up is a pair of grey tracksuit pants. I also got these in a black, but I'm not going to show them on camera because I have absolutely no idea where they are. I got them in the size small because I don't really like when trackies are a little bit bigger because they make your butt look super unflattering. But these do a fine job of doing that anyway. Yeah, these do not flatter you from behind, but they are very comfortable and they are definitely around the house tracksuit pants. They also are like very nice and warm and they have that fleecy kind of material that's super comfortable. If anything, it is just like a tiny bit tight around the waist, but other than that, I wouldn't want to go bigger in sizing. Next up is this black maxi skirt. Now I actually, this is the only thing that I didn't get to try on. But it goes all the way down to the floor, except it's a little bit too short for me. It doesn't have any splits in the side or anything, and then it just has, like, a little thing to tie up. But I don't think it'll pick up on camera because it is so black. But I just got this to wear with this grey shirt because I saw this lady from Kukai wearing it and I've been meaning to pick up a black maxi skirt for the longest time. This one's in a size 6, which is way too small, but it is super stretchy, so... I can fit into it like 6 and now it's like 20. <laughs> Next up is this black poncho. I find it really hard to show everything on camera but you'll get the whole gist of it in the try on section. So I got this and the next item, it's the exact same thing but in a different colour. I loved it that much. It's a one size and it came down from $40 to $5. I would never pay more than $5 for it. Even though I love it so much, it's just like a basic black poncho that you just kind of 
chuck on like that and you can look put together effortlessly and I've worn it a few times and I absolutely love it and that's why I got it in the other colour. So the next colour is a beigey kind of one. I haven't taken the tag of this one and yeah, I've brought that for five as well. So it's actually in the colour camel according to them but I'd say that it's more of a beigey colour. I got this to wear with like blue jeans and just to like a white shirt just to tie everything in and I feel like it's super comfortable. Next up is the top that I was talking about that's in the same colour as that slinky skirt. This is what it looks like. It has the high collar so like it goes around like that. It's kind of like a turtleneck but not because it doesn't go up anywhere past like a certain amount. And again this one does cling to every single lump and bump in your body which obviously is super annoying for me. I'm like huh. And it is cropped so it doesn't even reach my belly button but I like wearing stuff like this with high waisted and then I like to chuck a poncho on top because I don't really like how it looks when I don't have a jumper on so I don't know how I'm going to go in the summertime. Next up is a pair of black wet look jeans. I don't know how I feel about these. I brought them for $10 but when I put them on they kind of don't really look like jeans. They more look like leggings which absolutely sucks. And the jean sizing at Supre runs super small, so I had to get these in a size 12. When I and yeah, they're super stretchy. Well, not really stretchy, but they're pretty comfortable and stuff like that, and I do like the way they look. And the last item is a high-waisted pair of denim jeans, and they're in the colour white, as you can tell. I actually really like these ones, although white definitely does pick up every stain you can imagine. But other than that, they are super comfortable and I did have to go the size up because the 10 was very tight. But other than that, I do really like these and I brought them full price for $35, which is the most expensive item. Everything else was on sale for $15 and under, most things under like $10. So that wraps up my Supre Collective Try On Haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!